Caden, let's get around Tarn. Yeah. Have you, forward to it. have you ventured out much at all since you since you've joined? I've been to the car wash. Car wash, yeah. yeah. And a Down here. Yep. Yes. Yep. It's a great place. <laughs> so you've had a bit of a jump in leagues now. Was it in uh, the National League with uh, Wrexham? Now into the champ. How are you looking to take on the, the challenge? Yeah, I had a good season, um, well, a good back end of the season at Wrexham. So, you know, confidence-wise, I'm probably, you know, probably been the best, feeling the best I've I have done yeah. um, for a, for a number of years. So, I'm just looking to, um, you know, just take everything in my stride and and work hard and see where it gets me. Really. Yeah. I mean, and what do you feel? I mean, you are known for your your pace. Do you think that will be your most valuable attribute as you as you step up as well? Yeah, I think pace is dangerous in in any division. You know, you've seen it in the top division now, last season with with Vardy and and players like that. You know, pace is always going to hurt defenders. You know, there's never going to be a, a year in football that pace will not, you know, be a vital um, attribute for a player. So yeah, you know, I look to look to use that pace to the best to the best I can. Yeah. Um, and and hopefully everything else comes in with it as well. And then what have you made of the lads? You know, a few days back now. Um, did you know any of the boys before you signed, or is it everyone new? Everyone new to you? Everyone, um, yeah, everyone's new pretty much. Played against um, Steph. Yeah. Um, a couple of times, but apart from that, yeah, it's a it's a new a new squad, a new bunch. Um, but yeah, everyone's you know a top bunch of lads, and you know not not got a bad word to say about about anyone, which is strange. You know, football, you, you come across some some characters that you like, some yeah. characters that you don't. And what about the the gaffer Hecky? What, do you, what was it about him that was a big draw to you? From the first time I spoke to him, you know, I met him and you know he, he showed me the the vision that he he has for the team and you know how he wants to take take the team forward and that just fit in with you know how I want to to um, progress as a player mm. and you know I've not like I said I've not got, got a bad word to say about the gaffer either um, you know he's great you can not many gaffers you, you know will come into the dressing room and have a chat with you before during and after training you know it's it's uh, it is important to have you know a good a good relationship with your gaffer and yeah. um, and I see that everyone's got that here so yeah it's, it's nice I know I mean out of all the lads that you've trained with, and you know, there's a few there that have, some that have played at a high level, some that are progressing. Who's sort of been the player you've, you've enjoyed playing with most? Do you think so far? And you know, you haven't done much ball work. We know you've done a lot of fitness stuff, but yeah, who's impressed you most? Talented player? It's difficult to say. I, I think you know all of them have got their main key attributes that make make them you know, the player they are. Um, you know, you see, you see, ads is. You know how sharp he is with the ball. Mm. Um, so difficult to, to get it off him, and you know how yeah, he, you know within a matter of a few seconds, you know he's turned and he's got a shot off, or he's turned and he's he's leaving you behind. But um, yeah, all of them um, really. There's not one you know that I wouldn't say I've, I've not enjoyed playing with. Yeah. Um, you know, obviously, kind of so sort of creative, and mm. you know he'll just pick the pass, see the pass, or or he'll be getting his shot off as well. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, been, it's been a good couple of days. Good, well, the couple of days that we've done, yeah. games-wise, anyway. So in terms of hopes for you this season, Caden, what do you, what do you reckon? You got anything yet? Particular targets for you? I've only set myself one target, and that's, you know, I want to I wanna continue to develop as a player. Um, you know, it is going to be tough coming from the conference straight into the championship, but, you know, I'll, I'll back myself. I back, my, back myself, back my ability, you know, all day, and you know, like I said, I want to develop and, and become the best player I possibly can. Mm. Um, you know, I've signed a two-year deal here, so it's, you know, it's not this year is not the, the be-all and end-all, you know, so, so to speak. But um, you know, I want to I want to break into the team as quick as possible, and um, you know, I want to I want to give the fans something to shout about. I want you know, I want them to be chanting my name and. You know, everybody wants it. Everybody wants that. Yeah. Um, so hopefully that can happen sooner rather than later. But um, in terms of targets, you know, I just want to develop, continue uh, my development, and you know, improve as a player. And hopefully, 
you know, the gaffer and um, Tommy can can see me if they play that you know they can use. Mm. I mean, you mentioned his name earlier, and I mean, for someone like yourself who's been at non-league for a period now at Wrexham and been successful, you must look at the likes of Jamie Vardy and Ricky Lambert, and now other players, Dwight Gow, other players that have progressed through. And you think that's what you that's what you aspire to be eventually? Yeah, hundred percent. The players like that, you know, they show that the pathway, you know, is there and it and it is possible with with hard work. And you know, I've, I've done nothing but but work hard uh, to get to where I am now. Uh, and and hopefully with even more hard work, you know, that can I can continue to to climb the leagues and you know have a, have a successful time here at Barnsley. Mm. And in your career, what's been the sort of highlight for you so far? Has there been a moment where, you know, proudest moment for you? Yeah, I've, I suppose that, you know, I'm, most times, you know, when I'm out on the football pitch and, and playing well and scoring goals, you know, I enjoy every minute of it. Um, but the, probably the highlight would have to be the Wrexham Chester derby um, last season. Going into that, it was, you know, the fans, there's nothing better for. For the Wrexham fans and a win over Chester um, and, and it, we got a quite a convincing one in the end mm. um, I think I won the penalty for the first goal scored the second goal and then and then set up the third and, and got man of the match so yeah, it's that was definitely one of the highlights of, of the season and, and my career so yeah. far and obviously a few big derbies to look forward to this year as well and the likes of Chef Wednesday and Leeds and Rotherham and Huddersfield you know so you've got plenty of big games to to make a name for yourself, and haven't you? So. Yeah, there's going to be a few tasty ones. Um, you know, being a Bradford lad, I'm quite familiar with Leeds and mm. the players they've had, and you know, the fans over the years. So, you know, I'm looking forward and, and hope, hope, hoping that I'll be, you know, be part of, of that game anyway. Mm.